Greetings, friends. And welcome back to Spyro 3. Yeah, I gotta rush through this level today. I don't think I'm gonna get everything. Spooky swamp. Yeah, we just don't have a lot of time. We have like <clears throat> 20 minutes of free time or something like that. Sorry, I feel like a burp coming. That's why mm -hmm. I'm talking weird. Um, but yeah, we don't have a lot of time. So I'm just gonna like go through the level, get most of the gems and eggs and stuff that... I could find straight away and not be too fussed about it. I might skip Sheila's thing entirely for today just because it's annoying. Mm -hmm. to escort two of these dumbasses with bombs. <laughs> oh, yeah, they speak entirely in haiku. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, and you can't go in the water in this level because there's fucking piranhas. Slimy. Piranhas. Uh, Everywhere you look, <laughs> there's a piranha. It's gonna eat your face off. The idea of getting in the water and just being attacked immediately by piranhas is one of the other reasons I don't like to get into bodies of water. I just like to swim in pools. Mm -hmm. Are there any ghosts in this level? Ghosts? Yeah, it's called the spooky swamp. I don't think so. Oh, piranhas are so spooky. Ah! I'm spooked. <laughs> I'm gonna dress as one for Halloween. No! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I said this on the channel, and I don't know if I'm actually gonna do it, but my, my friend uh, Emily and I were joking. We both love the Scream series, and I was joking how uh, funny it would be since I've been working out so much, I'm pretty jacked. I was like, what if I just get like a, a freaking um, beige sweater and a terrible blonde bob mm -hmm. from Amazon, and I just go as, uh, what's her face, Drew Barrymore from the first Scream, mm -hmm. and just like I'm holding like the telephone and a Jiffy Pop <laughs> instead of the knife. <laughs> but I don't know if I can find one of those cordless phones. Mm -hmm. You know, I I probably just would end up holding the Jiffy Pop. He's big and he plays football. It'll kick the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah, that whole uh, scene I feel like is pretty effective for sure. Oh yeah, setting up the whole movie. Like um, the acting like, is very good. <laughs> like immediately when he says, "I want to know who I'm looking at," like you just hear like a dog barking outside too, and she just like immediately changes her tune. She's and like, what'd you say? Yeah, and the. Uh, <laughs> The freaking soundtrack for the first Scream is amazing. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, this is just me theorizing. There are certain soundtracks for certain movies where it sounds like the composer got to watch the movie with no soundtrack and then compose it and they like had the movie, like the final cut, or like, you know, close to the final cut and they composed the music, then they added it right after. Mm -hmm. A lot of movies are not made that way because that delays the release of the movie, you know, if it's like, oh, well, we have to wait for the dude to fucking finish the music. But the way that the music is done, it fits so, like, perfectly with a lot of the action of the movie. Mm -hmm. And that's typically reserved for movies that people think are going to be, like, really big budget, like Harry Potter, yeah. like fucking Indiana Jones, like Lord and of the Rings. Star Wars, and stuff like that, you know? And it's yeah. like, it fits so perfectly into those movies, like, it, the, it punctuates the action, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, Scream 1 does it amazingly, yeah. in my opinion. Scream 2 and, th like, all the rest of the Screams are all really good and stuff, but, like, it's not the same as 1. Mm -hmm. I think that's why... I and mean, a lot of people don't ever articulate that when they talk about 1. They're just like, it's just the best, you know? It's, like, the most original, blah, 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 blah. I was like, I think the music is a huge part of it. Because, yeah. like, I love 2. Like, I honestly might like 2 more than 1. Mm -hmm. Just because, like, the set pieces are insane. And, like... The, the the hair <laughs> like that's not like you know the only reason I don't know it's just like it's such a fun sequel mm -hmm. you know and it uh it all kind of went downhill from there <laughs> I in my opinion one and two are the best I think yeah. four four is probably third uh five and six and then maybe three I don't hate three but it's like really silly this door is jammed shut I'll yeah have... I jammed it. You jammed it, yeah, and you want it's all of the gems all from money. all the gems from this entire level. Five hundred, please. I'm a lazy fucking sack of shit. <laughs> I can't go get the five hundred gems myself. I need you to do it, purple dragon. I don't know why Spyro puts up with him. Right, just it's kill like him. You breathe fire. 
Kill him. Do you remember what happens to him near the end of the game? Um, in this one? Yeah. Don't you get to just, like, chase him around and flame him and get all your money back? Yeah, and it, like, comes, like, pouring out yeah. really fast. I was, like, I wasn't gonna spoil it if you didn't oh, remember, man. just because it's, like, a fun moment, you know? And it's yeah. like, oh, shit, I get to flame this asshole, finally! <laughs> I've been wanting to do this in Spyro 2! Right. In Spyro 2, doesn't Allura, isn't she like, oh, just like, give him back the money. And they, they like, kind of like, manhandle him or whatever, and he's like, alright. Yeah, because he's like, no, I'm not gonna give it back no matter what, and then, uh, she's like, Hunter, can you just like, deal with him real quick, and it shows it off, or it doesn't show it. It's like, mm -hmm. off camera, you just hear him getting beat up. Yeah, you just hear like, punch, punch. Yeah, so I guess it is nice that they let you do it in this one. Yeah. Also, I just love, like, platformers, like, I like platforming games in general, but, like, 3D and well, more so 3D ones where you can hover. In 2D, uh, it's, it's not as big of an issue, um, just because you can gauge the space a little bit better, but in 3D ones, I fucking love being able to, no, I love being able to glide. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of wild. It's like landing on lava. It is. It's like he does the same jumping animation. Immediately <laughs> attacked by the fucking fish uh, from hell. They're just waiting as soon as you fly over it. It's they freaky. are. Freaky. Hey. You are brave, dragon. Much braver than I by far. Much braver than mm. I by far. <laughs> Take this egg. Thelonious? Sweet. The tea lamps are lit. No one? The tea lamps are lit, and let me tell you the secret what's in this house. A creepy wizard lives inside, but he hates light. He has awakened or awoken. So we're to destroy the Yeah, I'll kill him, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do Sheila's cause she got two eggs and like a bunch of gems up in there. <laughs> we don't really got the time. Oh, but I did I nice got I got the point. I got that freaking key. I got the key for the thing. Uh oh. I'm gonna be Pride. fine. I'm gonna be fine. Did you see it swimming up like as soon as you got to the shore? Yeah. Programming video games is so interesting to me. I'm sure it's very difficult work, but I'm like, it's literally someone's job to be like, all right, if Spyro in this level gets close to the water, then these piranhas are going to attack him. Yeah, like, you know, they, like, like, as soon as he touches it. They program, you know, like, homing 3D objects, then the artists detail them and shit. And, yeah. uh, it's just, it's so cool. They like, do that in um, some Mario games, too, like in Mario Kart. Um, I don't know if it's Mario Kart 64 or which one of the games, um... When you go off the road in this one level, they just start pelting you with rocks. Oh from the yeah, side, and they're like relentless. Freaking DK Jungle Parkway, or whatever the frig it's called from Mario Kart 64. Yeah, yeah. and I think they uh, we recently played a mini game in like Super Mario Party that was kind of like that too, where like yeah. if you went off the side, the shy guys would start trying to kill you. Yeah, or something. yeah, I remember that. It was like a little racing thing, and yeah. they kept like poking you or some <laughs> yeah, shit. With spears. Hey. What is, what is your whole deal? It's like guys? the second you touch the side of the road, they're just there waiting for you. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, and then I think he summons enemies. I'm no. Like, what's this guy's deal? Yeah, he's really hard. <laughs> like, yeah, he's just wearing a nightgown. Yeah, he's just trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I've always thought it'd be really funny to act like a menace while wearing a nightgown. Oh god. Just like wander out into the street. <laughs> like no. obstruct traffic while you're wearing a nightgown. No. Just like lay your pillow and blanket on the street. Oh, I'm tired. And like people are just like laying on their horn like, Move you fucking idiot. What are you fucking doing? <laughs> Go dry up somewhere. Get back to bed! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we still have like a few minutes. Like, we probably have like 10 ish minutes or so. I'm gonna try and. I'm gonna see if I can do this. If I can't finish it, we'll come back. We're already having to return for this Bentley in the one awesome. thing, Sergeant Bird in the other one. Yeah, I might as well have to, you know, return for all these freaks. <laughs> oh no. Almost went way through it. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart was just hungry in the studio and he sampled his own stomach growling. <laughs> Two, four or, or four gems. 
four orbs. Get my spiros mixed up. <laughs> Too much spiro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those fuckheads over there. <laughs> They're standing around, the little crickets, just like waiting. Mm -hmm. They're like, we need to get this bomb over to our friends, and or to these eggs or whatever. And it's like, I, I think it was Cat Icarus again, who fucking... He, he was like, I fucking hate this mission because it's like, you can just carry the bombs over and light them next to the cages. Right. You don't have to light them and then go down this path. Right. Terrible. <laughs> it's like that friggin' um, orc from Helm's Deep mm -hmm. that like blows up the wall and they're all like, shoot him, take him down, while he's like running with that crazy. Like, I know they did that just to be dramatic because it's like a movie and all, but like in all actuality, it could have just waited till he got inside with that thing. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, they didn't have to, you know, like show that he was the one with the bomb. Right. Be like, yeah, just in a sentiment. I want to rewatch the Lord of the Rings movies. Yeah, I haven't seen really them in. Good. They are so good, but they're so long. Yeah, they are. It's like a big commitment. Mm -hmm. They Especially, don't have to do it all in one day. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. The the extended versions, everyone's like, you have to watch them. I'm like, you don't. Yeah. Like, it's like, what are you missing out on? Oh, no. You saw how freaking Greenmore killed, uh, what's his face? Saruman. Yeah. Yeah, and then you see how he gets killed and. Um, they both fall. You get to see when they go to the Black Gate. There's like this crazy looking orc. Oh yeah, the mouth kind of, of Sauron. Yeah, he looks or whatever. kind of like Sauron or whatever. But then Aragorn literally just kills him immediately. Yeah. <laughs> it's really funny too, cause um, we have like a Lord of the Rings: The Return of the King video game, and uh, that battle is like really epic, and that orc is actually like pretty strong. Yeah, like, he's he, like, like the first one you fight, and I remember as a kid, I was like, "Who this the hell is crazy this?" Shit. And it was showing like a cutscene from the movie. Oh, he's just oh, like I got riding the around on a horse with a friggin' lance. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, no, and, like, in the same... There were a few other ones, like, Gandalf, remember how the Witch King in the video game came down and, like, shrieked, and then Gandalf's staff exploded? Yeah, that, like, when the hell is that happening? Yeah, th there's, like, a couple cool scenes that you miss from seeing the theatrical yeah, version, so but just nothing... just get the game. Yeah, <laughs> just get the game. <laughs> it is a good game. Mm -hmm. We should play it on the channel, but it's gonna suck if we do multiplayer, because it's, like, uh... I think you share lives or oh, something. Yeah. yeah, it's like really easy to die in certain situations. It too. is, and it only gives you like enough potions for like one person. Yeah, I remember. Um, I can't remember which level it is exactly. It might be like the Wall of Gondor or something like that. There's this one level in that game that's like really hard, mm -hmm. and you're just like running from um, Nazgul's like the whole time. Yeah. They're just flying around, and there's, like, a little dragon-shaped meter in the bottom. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, there, there were a couple levels with that meter. I think you're thinking of the Minas Tirith wall. Yeah. And it's, like, a Gandalf level. Hmm. And then the level right after it is fucking fun as shit. Yeah. The friggin' Pelennor Fields or whatever. Uh, well, that that's in the... Because there's, like, three... Wait, where are you going? You fucking you prick! <laughs> Uh, love them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me just do all this shit again. Yeah, so for the rocks, I guess I can go ahead and bust them up, and then for these, I'll just wait for them. Mm -hmm. um, but no, for the path of the wizard, the Gandalf one or whatever, after you do the... Uh... What? what the <laughs> Did it fall back? <laughs> I'm so confused now. Um... But the Gandalf level, after you do the wall, um, you get to, like, protect, like, the townspeople or whatever. It's like, oh, you have to, you know, save, like, 150 or... Oh, yeah. And it's just, like, and it's just mobs like an and mobs of, of enemies. Yeah, but and, like, the, orcs and trolls and everything. But you're, like, so overpowered by that point that it's just, like, it's a lot of fun, in yeah. my opinion. Gandalf has this... I forget what his thing is called. His perfect mode or whatever. Yeah. You He, like, puts on a shield and you just run into these huge crowds of enemies and kill them all, like, real fast. Mm -hmm. and, there's like a bunch of these lances you can pick out of the fire and kill the trolls instantly. Yeah. That game's fun as shit. Yeah. The extras in that game are really cool. They're like a lot all of like power ups and stuff that you get, like those friggin' homing arrows that you just. Don't they like never run out and they like bounce all over the place and stuff? 
There, yeah, there are like some crazy arrows and shit. And um, I forget, Gandalf has stuff that can like go through enemies. Like, I just, I love it. It's like a little baby like RPG. It's, it reminds me of like King of the Dragons. Yeah. Or King of Dragons, not King of the Dragons. When he's like fully powered up, you can just spam his staff attack too. Just like, psh, 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 <laughs> and like kill everything. And it was really back fast. in the era when cheat codes were still in game. So yeah. if it, you can make yourself have infinite ammo mm -hmm. and shit like that, and just like fire blasts endlessly. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, I wish. Gandalf was like this in the movie, but you know, not really, because the movies are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you can imagine he just shows up, it's like shit, Gandalf's here, <laughs> yeah. just like firing lasers everywhere. He's just like wearing like, sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, yeah, he's wearing sunglasses. <laughs> he's like, cover your eyes, kids. <laughs> That'd be wild. Just like gets to the Balrog and he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> forget the running, you fools. <laughs> Okay, so for this one, I'm probably gonna have to do it a couple times because he does not move along the path. He's much more erratic, yeah. Mm -hmm. I might need your help trying to memorize this one, too. Mm -hmm. Ow! I went down again! Well, how about instead of boom, boom, you just fucking don't. How about no? <laughs> No! no! Oh my god, you freak! Is he faster than the other one, too? He might be. It seems like he is. Yeah. Okay. I really just want to wrap this up. I don't want to have to come back here for this. But if we do have to come back to this level, at least we got all the gems already. So we just get this freaking stupid egg. I'll give it, like, three more attempts. <laughs> and if I flop, then... I flop! Watch it, like, pop up before we get to it right here. <laughs> okay, thank God. It just, like, sends him flying. No, why no. did I... <laughs> I'm so dumb. Why did I not just... <laughs> For some reason, I thought he was going to get hit by the other mushroom. <laughs> I think he's going to go, like, all the way around that ring. I beat this game like a month or two ago in preparation because I didn't want to be completely lost after having not played it for so many years, but mm -hmm. I'm just like, God damn. These little 3D, remember which rock you destroyed <laughs> puzzles are kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, I already broke them. Why did they come back? I also, back? I can't spin the camera to see no. where he is. Go rock. I can't fucking see. I just have to rely on like the auto cam. I can't remember which mushrooms he runs right to- ah! no. Sweet! Yes. Is he gonna fucking go- THANK GOD! Right. <laughs> Michelle! Sweet! Is it eggs? I don't care! <laughs> <laughs> eggs of the area! <laughs> <laughs> the eggs. <laughs> the eggs. <laughs> eggs at the level. I'm gonna scramble them. It's probably gonna take us to like the little flying device or whatever that's gonna take us to the next world. Yeah. And we can just wrap this shit up. I'm not gonna go do that right now though. The. All right, come on. Land. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Follow me, Spyro. The whirling awaits you. Yeah, I'm not doing that right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you'll join us next time. Bye bye. Have a good one.